Can we talk about Tom Brady and Giselle? I know you can't diagnose them, but it's weighing on me. We don't know them. We've met them a couple of times, and I've seen them. They, they looked like the perfect picture of happiness to me. You know, of course, they're both beautiful. They're both super successful. And now the reports are that they've filed for divorce and that uh, she's on in Costa Rica where they used to go all the time together with her karate instructor. And they say this marriage has fallen <laughs> apart because— <laughs> He would. He I'm wouldn't sorry. give up his football career. I mean, the guy has six or seven Super Bowl rings, and she wanted him to give up to his career. I don't know if I believe that, but what do you make of that? Because to me, it just seems like who would let a beautiful marriage fall apart because of football? Nobody would, and it wasn't most likely, therefore, really a beautiful marriage. You have to understand. You must know, because you know so many people in the business— that when there's a husband and wife and they're both hot celebrities, mm. that it becomes business to portray a certain image because that's part of the marketing of them. 100% true. You understand they, what I'm saying without yes. saying it to them? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they were, that doesn't mean that what you saw was real, but it was a business agreement. Do you think, I mean, I think about this in the same way Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman fell apart after 10 years, they renewed their vows. And I think within a week, he served her with divorce papers. I think on the outside, we do see these beautiful people with these quote unquote perfect lives. And we buy it because we're meant to buy it in, in the same way that yes. the iPhone manipulates us in ways we don't fully understand. So does that industry. And it creates these images that we, even smart people who are skeptical, wind up believing and then when it all comes crashing down, we think, huh, I'm so curious. And it's it's pernicious because we hold ourselves to similar standards that are unattainable. Well, remember, uh, let's see, Sonny Bono and Cher. Yeah. They had a fabulous television show. They were hysterical together. They were incredible together. And one day I was watching the show and I went, uh, the marriage is over. Mm. How can you tell? It's just a great show. I can feel it. And sure enough, they filed for divorce. And that was a case where, according to Cher, she wanted to go out and be on her own. He sort of discovered her, she said, and mentored her, and they were wonderful together, but she wanted to be her own person. So uh, there are lots of reasons people get together, stay together, when they're in the public view. She came to the place where the public view was not enough for her. She wanted her independence. Mm -hmm. That's what I read that she said. I have no further knowledge than that. So there are a lot of different kinds of situations, but I think a lot of it is for show. I think that's true. And I think in a more private life, I don't know, you, you have to make sacrifices for your marriage. You have to make some professional sacrifices for your marriage, which I think people don't think about as much as making sacrifices in their marriage for their professional career. Well, I had a call from a 30-something-year-old male who sounded almost like an AI, and mm. that was his problem. Dealing with feelings is something he wouldn't go near. And he asked me, and his career was everything to him. It was the most important thing in the world, but he wanted to have a relationship. And uh, he wanted to know what quality is first and foremost, if there is a first and foremost. And it's funny what you just said, because I said to him, both people have to be willing to sacrifice for the happiness of the other. If both are not doing that, I mean, if only one does that, that's to me almost an abusive relationship. But if both are doing that, that's the perfect marriage. But that's the one thing we need to be able to do, sacrifice. Mm. I've heard you talk to people before, and I think you've written about it in your books, about how, okay, if you do it, if you make a sacrifice for your partner, then there's another piece of it, which is not then holding it against them for eternity, right? Like, you, you need well, to do it willingly. Well, then it's not a real sacrifice. It's a manipulation. Yeah. See, they but, can look the same, but they're not. Uh, resentment is because the manipulation didn't work. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Wait, like you're trying I to get him to be different. I gave up this for you, and now I'm expecting to get this. It's not the same thing as I love you and I want you to be happy, so this is what I'm giving to you. Mm. It's a right. gift. We don't get resentful about heartfelt gifts. You, you've talked about how looking at others, because I'm thinking about this in the, in the way we perceive these quote-unquote perfect marriages, uh, and the way we perceive these quote-unquote perfect people on Instagram, on TikTok, young women deal with this a lot, about how it can lead to a deterioration in confidence. People ask you all the time, how do I, how do I be more confident? in myself or how do I help my child become more confident? And one of the things you, I know you say you're not supposed to do is compare yourself to other people. <laughs> but it's very hard in today's day and age, which is so visual. These images are being pushed on kids and teens. Forget kids who aren't really supposed to be on there. But let's say 22-year-olds on Instagram with the filters and the magazines and so on and like the ubiquitousness of celebrity culture at every turn. And even in one's personal life, you know, they have their Facebook friends and their couple from college they knew. They've got everything and I don't. So what do you say to the people who are struggling not to take that leap of making a comparison between their own life and somebody else's? Well, I remind them that they're making a comparison about an ongoing uh, video, their own lives, and a snapshot of somebody else's. I remember... I got an email last week from a woman who said she was uh, at some lake and she was watching a family that she was related to. She was watching a family. Everybody was fighting and nasty and annoyed and tired and pissed off and not being nice to each other. And then they took a family picture and put it on Facebook. (laughs) And she said, snapshot, not reality. So your life is a video. Those things on the net are snapshots. You can't compare because you're not comparing the same thing. Anybody, if I, if I had a very unhappy person, I could still find something in their day that was good and take a snapshot. Nobody would know they were depressed. Mm. Imagine if you could buy an Italian sports car or your dream home for less than a dollar a day. Well, you can't quite do that but you can own an X chair. And that is the office chair I personally use and arguably the finest office chair in the world for only $20 a month. Yes, for less than a dollar a day, you can own something that is going to make the hours spent at your desk a thousand times more comfortable and productive. And unlike a car, this one's gonna massage you. This one's gonna heat you up. It's gonna cool you down. It's gonna help you be more productive at work. Not only do I love my X chair for all these reasons, but Abby has one. And she loves hers too. From the moment I first sat down in my X chair, I did immediately feel the difference. Trust me, once you sit down in an X chair, you'll understand it's an immediate game changer for you. There's an X chair for every style, for every budget. They even offer that built-in massage, as I mentioned, and heating and cooling. Now we're going into the warm, warm months and depends on what your room is, right? Maybe it doesn't get heated so well. You want the cooling. You want the heat. Maybe, you know what I'm saying. (laughs) And all for less than a dollar a day. Check out all the options and their amazing financing plans at xchairmk.com. The letter X, chair, the letters mk.com. No other chair can compare to the X chair. Go to xchairmk.com now. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.